Welcome to Effective Code, a podcast for developers exploring the skills and tools needed to make effective code-related decisions and to become more productive by focusing on the essentials. Knowing how to effectively navigate code in a vertical direction can aid your pursuit of becoming more productive. Like most things, Vim provides us with an abundance of different ways to transverse our files vertically. And today we'll be sharing some of our favorite ways to vertically navigate code inside of Vim. Number one, scrolling the window. A common habit is to just hold down the J and K keys in order to scroll the active window up or down. But there's a much faster and better way to move through a file, and that's by making use of the default key bindings, Control U and Control D. As you might have guessed, the U stands for up and the D stands for down. One interesting advantage of using these bindings instead of holding down J or K is that we get to move multiple lines at a time. And we can actually define how many lines we would like to move each time Control U or Control D is pressed by setting the scroll option. By default, it will jump down half a screen. The scroll option can be set within your VimRC file. Number two, relative line numbers. Using relative line numbers can be a great way to accomplish vertical motions efficiently. You can set the relative number option inside your VimRC to convert traditional line numbers to relative ones. Line numbers are relative to the current cursor line. With relative line numbers enabled, you can prefix all vertical motions, such as J and K, with a count. This gives you the power to jump a certain amount of lines without having to manually calculate it yourself. For example, let's say I want to move the cursor 10 lines up. I know the point of interest is 10 lines above because of the relative line numbers. I could then simply just type 10 followed by K and the cursor will jump up 10 lines. This provides us with a lot of flexibility when motioning through the file. Number three, making use of marks. Marks can be used to tie a cursor position to a certain key on your keyboard. Usually alphabetical letters are used. Not only does it store the location of the cursor, it can also remember the file when using uppercase letters for marks, making it extremely useful when working on multiple files. Marks can make it easy to vertically navigate a file, as we can bookmark multiple working locations and quickly jump between them. We can set a new mark in normal mode by typing M followed by any alphabetical letter. We can jump to a specific mark in two different ways. The first method is with a backtick, followed by the mark's corresponding letter. This will place the cursor at the exact line and column that was originally marked. The second method is with a single quote followed by the mark's corresponding letter. This will place the cursor at the first non-blank character of the line that was marked. Here's a quick example. Let's say we need to take a look at multiple function implementations at the bottom of our file, while working on some other function near the top. In this situation, we have to jump vertically between three different locations. We can set the following marks. We can type M followed by Q for the top position, M followed by A for the first function implementation at the bottom of the file, and M followed by Z for the second function implementation at the bottom of the file. With our marks already set, we can jump between our three different locations using single quote followed by either Q, A or Z. There's additional ways we can jump between our defined marks, such as with an open bracket followed by a single quote, which will jump to the mark before the cursor, and closing bracket followed by a single quote, which will jump to the mark below the cursor. For more information about marks, please see the Vim's help section by typing help, followed by mark hyphen motions. Number four, location lists. A location list can be constructed that contains lines that matches a certain pattern. We can use any of the default location list grep commands to search the current file for a specific pattern, resulting in a neatly formatted list 
that we can use to vertically jump around the current file. For example, if we were inside a file that contained many different functions, it would be a great convenience if we could have a bird's eye view of all the functions inside of the file and jump between them. This can be done using the following grep command, l vim grep, followed by your search pattern, followed by a percentage sign, which represents the current file, and then we'll string along a pipe, followed by the lw command, which basically opens up the locations list. After running the command, the location list will be populated with all the lines containing a pattern. If it was a Python file, for example, we would search for the word DEF to get the locations for each function in the file. This gives us a handy tool that we can use to navigate the current file and gives us a great deal of contrast about the file we are working on. Number five, common vertical motions. Before ending, here's some more general ways to motion or scroll vertically using some of the well-known Vim bindings. Capital H, M and L can be used to move the cursor to the top, middle or bottom of the current window. H stands for home, M stands for middle and L stands for last. Z, T, Z, Z and Z, B can be used to scroll the current line to the top, middle or bottom of the window, leaving the cursor in the same column. G, G and capital G can be used to move the cursor to the start and end of a file. These commands are considered jumps, so you can return to your previous position using control O. Thanks for reading, listening or watching. We really do appreciate it. To get notified about future content, please subscribe to our newsletter, YouTube channel or podcast. You can also find us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.